Taiwan is the most important production base for personal computers. Until today, 80% of the notebook PCs are still produced by Taiwanese makers, and 94% of the servers still produced by Taiwanese makers. They all need a lot of semiconductor. This is the reason why world class company, I mean semiconductor company, they have branch office, they have service center in Taiwan to serve the company's needs. And China tried to attract those companies, also provide the services to them. So there is a balance between Taiwan Strait. China tried to catch up. And uh, yes, they have opportunity to catch up. But take different way to think about the foundry services in the future. I mean, maybe we, we can watch the opportunities from IC design because the domestic market. You see, the among the top 10 mobile phone brands, seven of them from China. So they also create a huge opportunities for semiconductor needs. So there's the reason why Taiwan, China has the opportunity to develop their local IC design industry. If we count foundry services global market last year, 57.7 billion is the day's revenue for uh, ICT, uh, foundry services and 18.5% 18 from China. So if we count that kind of number, you can understand. IC design industry in China today could be about 20 billion US dollars. They're almost equal to Taiwan. As I mentioned, Taiwan has a very successful IC design industry, but they're based on PC. And now, absolutely, we, we have the media tech, we have others. They also try to serve mobile phone market, but China has have have their own industry. So they are good for domestic market and domestic company like High Silicon. They have their own opportunities. So China has the opportunity to develop their IC design industry by themselves. And now we, we can talk something about equipment and materials market. For Huawei market, equipment is about 60 billion US dollars. And uh, before year 2016, Taiwan always contributed about 22% of the Huawei market. But last year, I mean year 2018, down to 15%. It's about the Taiwanese company trying to establish another production base in China. But after China and the US trade war, and I believe many Taiwanese companies will come back to Taiwan for new investment. So same according to the data estimation from SEMI. SEMI say last year, yes, China or Taiwan only contributed 15% of the worldwide equipment market. But this year, we could increase to 20%. So there is a difference between. And the tech different way to think about China. China last year, they contributed 20% worldwide market for equipment and materials. But this year, may de decline in, for, for the investment. It's about uh, uh, foreign companies and also domestic companies as well. And as I know, in China equipment market, only 35% contributed by local companies. Companies like Samsung, Hynix, Intel, Micron and the TSMC, their production site in China, they also purchase a lot of equipment. There's a reason why China has so huge uh, you know, equipment investment over the past years. But after China and the US trade war, I think the status will be changed. <laughs>